Hi, in this video I would like to show you how I have done the PLC program for the vertical buffer and how also we need to set up the virtual environment. Let's first have a look at the virtual environment. In this case we are using visual component software. Here is my component. It's a component called buffer unit from BOM description. You can see that the manufacturer is my data. You will find it from Visual Components library. If you go here, you will find it from the library. Okay, so let's have a look. In the basic setting changes you need to do is first of all behavior. Uh, okay, you need to replace the. There will be a lot of code here. We don't need all those things here to replace all those with this simple Python script. As you can see here, I've also pasted the code in the blog. Another important change needs to be done is go to this link and this node. There will be some other settings than this. So what you need to do is make it as a translationer and a plus Z axis as it is here. And then make the minimum maximum limit a bit uh, higher, maybe minus 1000. 1000 and that's all you don't need to do anything and of course you can change the speed what I would like to do is I kept it as 20 millimeter per second you can also increase it a little bit this and then you need to add some behaviors there's three ones one is server reached target a boolean two server position uh, real and boolean is QX servo enable. Remember to add each of these ones, for example, this one to the Python script. So you can go here and plus sign, and then this appears here. You click and it adds the, this behavior to the Python script. This is another important settings we need to do. And then, and then this one is you need to add two more property variables. This is one called the incoming part signal and release part from buffer bool okay this is how we set it up and then in the connectivity you need to connect the server simulation to server at the variables the screenshot man gives you exact idea what variable needs to be connected and also the names are similar in between the simulation and the plc program so it would be pretty easy to connect for you guys and these are the variables you need to connect from server to simulation these are for simulation to server okay Let's go and reset this one and have a look in our codices environment. This is the codices code. I have pasted the whole code in the blog as well. It's a pretty simple program. Remember to configure the symbol configuration properly and build it and select the oh, support of UA feature so that when it loads to the OPC, which is here, um, you can see here, gateway and Soft PLC. So we are actually using a virtual PLC and loading the program to this virtual PLC and is also working as an OPC UI server in this case. If you don't configure this, then we won't get the OPC UI uh, server feature from Codices and we cannot connect to Visual Component Software. Let's go back to the code. Here is the code. You have to call the, your POU in the uh, PLC program and then call this POU here. So this PLC program is already uh, called in the main task. So here is our POU1 and I have commented each of these states. So when the reader reads the comments, it would be pretty obvious to follow what is happening in different states. Basically what it is doing is is try, trying to know what is the number of the part quantity and then based on this part quantity it calculates the value of the server servo sorry the value of the servo where the servo needs to be when it goes up and in that case which is the vertical buffer is taking in incoming parts and going down as basically the vertical buffer is releasing parts from the buffer okay so now let's go we log in and it's running and then we go and connect our it's already connected i will disconnect it and let's show you guys clear and then connect it's connected and we run this and 
let's go have a look uh, select the component and then this signal when I turn on it will actually create an incoming signal as it a uh, part for example a power a conveyor is in front of this buffer and it a part comes in and gets a signal that take me in or load me to this buffer so this is what I am injecting here ix incoming just little bit incoming part signal okay I turn it on as you can see the value of the variables are changing and to go a little bit over here program and you can see because the servo speed I have set as 20 millimeter per second is a little bit so you can make it a bit faster also so we can see when as long as this is on it means that continuously one after uh, another part is coming in and we are trying to store it and uh, you can see the value of the server here and it's also the part quantity in buffer is shown here let's stop this so there are no more parts coming in we have 14 parts now we would like to have for example a signal coming from the field that now give me parts so we select this one okay and um, so we can see that uh, one after uh, another the parts are going out and the servo is going down slowly okay you can see it here all right i put this on off again and then i take this on and you can see there here parts coming in and then it will move up and move up let's see how this is behaving as you can see the states are changing here uh, uh, all right let's go and check the important thing which is the state POU we can see the different states 20 30 11 20 30 and 11 and this is for when the actually the buffer is buffering and what happens when the buffer is releasing parts from the buffer let's go and have a look into the states it's happening and we are going to 80 90 71 80 1971. Alright? So yeah, this is how it works. Yep, thanks for watching.